Welcome and thank you for joining IKEA Expo CES 2023. It's great to live in exciting times when technological development progresses at such a fast rate. We've been on the market for more than 15 years and as years fly by, the inspiring world of cutting-edge computer hardware continues to evolve, pushing the boundaries of what PCs can do. High-end PCs once needed a 500 watt power supply. Nowadays, they average 1200 watts especially if you seek serious gaming and productivity. Graphic cards were pulling around 200 watts. Today, this number is 600 and we don't see it going down. Each watt used generates almost a full watt of heat, so you can imagine the challenge we are facing. But what does this tell us? The message is clear. The transition to liquid cooling is inevitable. When we compare air and water, the air has significantly lower heat capacity per gram and volume and less than a tenth of the conductivity. Air cooling requires 10 times the surface area. Therefore, the fins and the air need 2000 times higher flow velocity, meaning the fan needs 10 times the power of a recirculating water pump. We foresee that all chips generating over 300 watts will be liquid cooled in the near future. And it takes a real expert to do it right. Our innovative technologies and liquid cooling solutions continue to move the needle of performance and design. We enable cutting-edge PC hardware to reach its full potential, providing the end users with the computing power they deserve. Like with the Delta Tech sub ambient cooler, we innovate and improve on it. And maybe one day, it will have a successor that can be found in each household PC. The key is not to stop trying. So, let's see how competition inspires innovation and how you can be the one to blaze the trail with a little help from our liquid cooling solutions. Without further ado, I will let our expo guide, Anna, take the stage. Thank you, Eddie. Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm here to show you what the future of liquid cooled PCs look like. The most effective way to experience the evolution of computer hardware is to see what some of the best builds in the world pack inside. And today, we'll do just that. We have two prominent guests, Stuart Tonks from GGF and Deb from Andy the Lab, who will be adding an extra layer of excitement with their own incredible and unique builds. We're showcasing five astonishing PCs, all packing some seriously powerful hardware. Three of the builds come from our own builders, one from our lead R&D designer, Joe, and the other two from Sanel and Attila of our product marketing team. So some heavy competition there, that's for sure. Now with great power comes great responsibility. And that responsibility is heating up. Evidently, cheap manufacturers are implementing technologies that enable extra performance provided there's enough thermal headroom. Or in other words, adequate cooling. The good news is that these advancements in performance are constant and not negligible. And thanks to water cooling, CPUs and GPUs can boost to higher frequencies and maintain the high performance for longer periods of time. So whether you are running a business, developing a high-performance computing project, creating content, or simply gaming, water cooling can make a crucial difference. Tackling the heat efficiently will result in more money in your wallet and more frames on your screen. And we all know that these extra dimes or frames can truly make a difference between winning and losing. But, as always, not everything is so black and white. Or is it? For much of human history, white has been a symbol of purity, 
and was reserved only for the few. Still, nowadays white-themed PC components are on the rise in popularity and are available for everyone. One of our regular guests and a seasoned modder, Stuart Tonks of GGF, is wasting no time fully exploiting the availability of white and light colored PC components to build one of his latest masterpieces. He is using the newly released Lian Li V3000 Plus. The case was co-developed with his specific input on how to improve it and make it more practical for water cooling. Not only did he participate during the development, but the white version of Li and Li V3000 Plus bears his name as the GGF Edition model. Start with white and you'll be all right, he said. The case got the modern ventilated mesh front grille, while the tempered glass side panels now swing open on hinges. The interior was built from the ground up to support your wettest liquid cooling dreams. In this case, the pun was intended. Stewart went for 1P480 and two thick X480 multipod surface radiators, while the ROG Maximus Z790 Apex couldn't have been a better fit for this gorgeous, white-themed build. The 13th generation Intel CPU is kept in check by the Magnitude CPU water block. An accompanying Asus product is the Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card with a slightly modified EK Quantum Vector 2 water block. Or, to be more precise, water blocks, since it's an active backplate set that actively cools both sides of the GPU PCB. The rest of the liquid cooling revolves around the FLT240 combo unit powered by a D5 pump and all the satin titanium fittings. We must not forget to mention the matching set of cable mod custom cables which really ties this whole build together. Next up is Deb from Andy the Lab with a little bit of a darker gem. She's working with a well-known Lian Li O11XL case, a trendy choice for enthusiasts and first-time water coolers. The case can pack massive cooling power by supporting up to three 360 mm radiators and a huge front place distribution plate simultaneously. Being the EK Matrix 7 foundation element, the distro plate is where most of the action takes place. You've probably heard about Matrix 7 by now, but for those unfamiliar, it means you can replicate this depth build with very little effort. For almost every hardware configuration, there is a complete list of products needed to complete your build without any guesswork, hiccups, or delays. Just watch how Deb does it with ease. She starts by installing the distribution plate, but not your average one. This distro plate has an integrated 7-inch screen that can be used as a secondary desktop. You can watch or loop videos on it or use it to monitor the computer's vital parameters like fan RPM, core frequency, component and coolant temperatures, and much more. Next up is the motherboard, and it's none other than the MSI MPG X670E Carbon EKX. It is paired with a Ryzen 7950X, which is not the only AMD product in this build. The mighty Radeon RX 7900 XTX, probably one of the most anticipated GPUs, also makes an appearance. While the motherboard already has its own intelligent monoblock solution with an integrated flow meter and temperature sensors, the GPU is cooled by a stealthy Vector2 acetyl water block dominated by minimalistic straight lines. Both the monoblock and GPU water block are EK Matrix 7 compatible, meaning no tube bending is required and the ports perfectly align with those on the distro plate. 
The result is an effortless clean build with parallel tube runs. As for the radiators, Deb really maxed out the cooling capabilities of this case by adding one 58 mm thick and two 44 mm thick triple radiators. Now, I know what you think. Three triple radiators means a lot of fans. But fear not, as the EK OmniLink daisy chaining feature on the new FPT fans tackles cable management with a breeze. The pinnacle of the build is the gold-plated fittings that beautifully pop out like stars in the night sky. The dragon symbolizes power, strength, and good luck, so it's no coincidence that we often admire these mythical creatures. And when you see one in a PC case, it's almost unmistakable that it is powered by MSI. That's right, we're again partnering up with MSI to bring you a yet another PC build with the MSI Prospect 700R smart case that will also be featured on our Shop the Loop page. The Prospect 700R comes with a versatile 4.3-inch touchscreen panel that can help you monitor and control your PC with the tip of your finger. You can set it up so that the case takes control from the MSI Center software, allowing you to adjust fan speeds, RGB lightning, and more through the touchscreen panel. You can even upload a custom animation for the screensaver. The case is also fully ready for serious liquid cooling action. It can support a triple 58 mm thick EK quantum surface radiator at the front and a triple 44 mm thick radiator at the top. However, Sanel, our chief shop the loop PC builder, uses P360M radiators for the top and front of this build. All the liquid cooling is additionally powered by the second generation reflection distro plate which is the fundamental component of this EK Matrix 7 build. While the easiest way to assemble a Matrix 7 base loop is to use static extenders, Sanil went for pre-bent nickel-plated tubes in all possible locations, giving the build some extra bling. The heart of the PC is the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X CPU that is cradled inside Again, the MSI MPG X670E Carbon EKX. This is the sixth liquid cooling motherboard that is the fruit of the collaboration between MSI and EK. It offers unparalleled cooling for the VRM section and Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, among many other nifty features. The EK Matrix 7 compatible monoblock cooling solution packs an integrated flow meter, temperature sensor, and a unique heatsink that cools both PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots. Much graphical firepower is guaranteed by the RTX 4090 Supreme X24 GPU. The EK Quantum Vector 2 water block is here as a backup to keep it nice and cool and compact. The clear red coolant was chosen to respect the Dragon theme and complete this beast of a machine. And for the grand finale of this expo presentation, the Clash of Titans. We are, of course, talking about Joe and Attila. The guys have two different approaches to using InWin's Air Force case for their liquid-cooled builds. And with InWin's support, we got some extra parts for these cases to spice things up. I believe you already see what we're getting at. In the blue corner, we have the white and blue build dominated by black hardware in the middle of the case including the massive and powerful MSI MEG Z790 godlike motherboard. It's paired with none other than the market's fastest gaming CPU from Intel, the Core i9-13900K. 
But that is not all. Since we're going straight to the core, the CPU got deleted. Attila is using the cold plate from the limited edition CPU water block to transform the Velocity 2 DDC CPU and pump reservoir combo into a direct dye cooling solution. Some hardcore modding right there. Now in the red corner, the Inwin Air Force case is taking the red and black color combination. In contrast to the massive MSI motherboard, we can see a densely packed powerhouse, the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Gene. The main driving force for this PC in every possible way is the Ryzen 9 7950X, the most powerful AMD gaming CPU on the market. The job of keeping this CPU in check is assigned to the award-winning EK Quantum Magnitude water block. And this is where adequate cooling opens the door for higher frequencies and extra performance. The rest of the hardware in these two builds isn't lacking any muscle either. Both use the speedy G-Skill Trident Z5 RAM to help extract every last bit of performance out of these CPUs. Graphical compute power is guaranteed with the latest generation of RTX 40 series GPUs for one mod, while the other packs the latest Radeon RX 7900 XTX graphics card. Of course, cooling is taken care of by EK Quantum Vector 2 full cover water blocks. The implemented Vector 2 cooling engine uses a novel 3D machined acrylic insert to improve flow distribution and thermal performance. This new cooling engine is based on an open split flow design, but the asymmetric shape of the jet inserts help distribute the flow evenly between the first and last copper fins. But then again, everyone has their own flavor. Attila has chosen the acrylic top version of the water block that reveals the coolant and has DRGB lighting on the longest edge of the water block for improved fidelity and brightness from every viewing angle. While Joe favored the acetal version with a sophisticated addressable RGB light guide that goes around the entire water block, creating an elegant visual effect even on the backside. And when all of these components come together, that's when the real magic happens. Both builds use custom-made motherboard trays that elevate the artistry of the PCs to a whole new level. The white and blue themed PC is built around the two white 360mm P-series radiators. The pattern that adorns them is also found on the MSI godlike motherboard, while they're paired with white FPT fans, the successors to the Vardar. The EK OmniLink featured on the FPT fans allows daisy chaining that ultimately reduces cable clutter and simplifies cable routing with the help of 8-pin microfit connectors. All the signal and power wiring from PWM and DRGB runs on a single cable and connector. A single cable is then used to connect to each source. The red theme build is a true engineering marvel as it fits and connects three EK Quantum surface radiators. One S360 is at the top and one at the bottom, while the third P-series triple cross-flow radiator is at the front. The three reds are directly connected with micro-angled fittings and a system of intricate tubing on the backside of the motherboard tray. Extra points go to the red build for this marvelous execution. But this wouldn't be a competition if the other Titan didn't have a trick or two up its sleeve. While Joe chose the conventional pump reservoir combo unit, Attila went for no reservoir at all, meaning his build is relying solely on the Velocity 2 DDC water block pump and reservoir combo, reducing the number of tubes and giving his PC its bold and unique look and ultimately evening out the score and just leaving us wanting to see more of these builds.
It's interesting how we can inspire others to achieve more and push the limits. And that's what competition should be about. We all like and prefer different things, but in the end, we give each other inspiration and build upon it. Whether you are Team Blue, Team Red, or Team Green, we should all respect each other's preferences and try to create a healthy but competitive community. After all, there is always the choice of Team Orange. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this series of builds brought to you by the True PC Artists. If you want to share your passion with us, don't forget to visit our Share Your Build page. If you're looking for some additional inspiration for your next build, perfect. Our Shop the Loop page is just what you need. Those interested in finding out more about who the real winner of this friendly competition is, leave a comment below and we'll make sure Attila and Joe return to you with more content on their gorgeous builds. Until next time, stay cool. Thank you, Anna, for helping us present those powerful and aesthetically stunning builds, Liquid Cool by EK. Special thanks also to the EK Nation for joining us today and to our excellent partners and collaborators who are helping us reshape the landscape of liquid cooling technologies. I hope we managed to bring these breathtaking builds closer to you, helping you see why liquid cooling is vital to creating top performing computers and of course, a must if you strive for extraordinary aesthetics. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section. Your opinion matters to us. And don't forget to like, share and press that subscribe button if you enjoy our shows and want to see more of them. Until next time, remember, competition drives innovation. You can be the one to blaze the trail with EK's liquid cooling solutions. Stay cool! Okay. Well, can we do that again? It is I. One more time, one more time. Blah, 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 blah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi. He's beautiful, splendid. It's liquid, liquid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My God. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Power horse, son. Power horse. What are you thinking about? Seventy-nine acetal version. I got it. Vardar. One more time. <laughs> Until next time. Stay cool. Back to you, Eddie. Bye 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 bye. Okay.